looking at the brand new Woodstock CD-ROM. Yes, and moving forward rapidly 25 years, our main review this week is Mortal Kombat 2 on the SNES with all the gore bits. Hey, far out. And the 3DO finally hits the shop. But has it been worth the wait? And I'll be sailing the cyber seas in SIGGRAPH 94, the biggest and best computer graphics show in the world. But first, you could be thinking, I wish I had a t-shirt like Violet, so then again, that's not. Either way, you can now design your own t-shirt transfers using a home computer and some special new printer paper. Earlier today, I got my camcorder and I grabbed a video still of our Violet the Hippie here. We'll just use a simple paint package. We can cut around Violet's head. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but never mind. There we are. We can take her out like that. And we want to put her against um, a nice background. We can put her over here, say. Now, every good T-shirt, of course, you know, has a phrase or saying on it. And we can have what would be appropriate. Love and... Whoops. Peace. We'll make that colour and that more. Now, before we print it out, there's something very important that we've got to do. We've got to flip the image around. Why will become clear in a sec. There we go. And then we just print it out. You can use any printer you like, because as I said, it's not the printer that's different, it's the paper. This is the special new heat-sensitive transfer print paper. And the reason we flipped it around before we printed it, well, if you think about it, you put this on the T-shirt the wrong way around, when you iron it and take it off, the picture will come out the right way around. Irons, though, they're very hot, they're very dangerous things. I don't think I'm to be trusted with an iron. Violet! Yeah. What? <laughs> hippies! I hate hippies! Hippies are hideous, horrible, hopeless and, and disgusting! <laughs> so, to take my mind off hippies, here's a cheat for Zombies Ate My Neighbours on the SNES. It's a password that lets you jump straight to level 48. Just enter WWJX like that. And once you're there, you'll be able to explore the offices of the programmers at LucasArts. Let's have a look who we've got here. Ah, Mark Hay Hutchinson. Uh, even more hippies. Uh, and now, how to spot hippies. Number one, long hair, often in a stupid ponytail. Number two, the irritating way they say things like, uh, wow man, and uh, nice one. And number three, and the most important way to spot a hippie, the smell. <laughs> Ugh, wait a minute. Ugh, 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 ugh. Well, man, nice one. Cool. Right, so the transfer's yeah. on the wrong way around, you see. And then, up. when it's ironed on, yeah, and yeah, you peel yeah. it off, hang on a sec. No, let's see it then, The picture up. comes out the right way around, you see. Mm. Uh, what do you think? Be honest. Uh, yeah, it's right, Andy. Lovely. I think it's that bad, Violet. Our main review this week is Mortal Kombat 2 on the SNES. A year after the release of the original on the much-hyped Mortal Monday, the sequel hit the shops on the Game Gear, the Game Boy, the SNES and the Mega Drive, just in time for the new age rating system on computer games to kick in. So, the SNES version has got a certificate of 15, but for the most part, the gore is no worse than a few red pixels stuck together to represent blood. Mortal Kombat 2 has seven new characters, including these two, Mylena and Jack. There are loads of new moves, and the animation has been improved to give the fighters a 3D, almost filmic quality. So what's it like to play? Here's Lakesh. This is a perfect conversion of the arcade game, and it's miles better than the original Mortal Kombat. The graphics and sound in this game are excellent, and the animation is deadly smooth. Here I'm playing as Liu Kang against Shang Tsung. He's a shapeshifter and can change it to any character he wants, using any of the different moves he wants. The special moves are quite easy to activate. Here Shang Tsung has just changed into Jax. He's just changed into Katana now. And I'm going to try and... Ah, got him. Right, the fatality moves are very hard to pull out. But I'm going to try and get... Got it. Uh. If you don't like the gar and can't stand the fatality moves, you can always do a friendship move. Here's Liu Kang dancing and celebrating Cage's death. Friendship? Friendship? It's an outstanding game and the first beam-up which isn't overshadowed by Street Fighter 2. Fantastic fun, especially in two-player mode. It's slick, smooth and brilliantly gory. It's a touch of genius. And so the final scores for Mortal Kombat 2, both the girls and the boys gave it a maximum 5 out of 5. Hey, 
peace and love. Now, if your mum and dad are sad old hippies, get them in the room now, because this is for them. You may not know it, but this year marks the 25th anniversary of the legendary music festival Woodstock. Now, of course, there's books and audio CDs, but now there's the interactive CD-ROM. Now, the disc features all kinds of different information, and although you may not have heard loads of the tracks, it still features legendary performers, such as Roger Daltrey from The Who, The Who? Ask Andy, and Crosby, Stills and Nash. That's these guys. You've got the bio, the album, the photos here. Let's have a look at a clip of the movie. I'm told it's an acquired taste. One of the other interesting things about this disc is you can go backstage. So here, this is the guy who organised the festival 25 years ago, and he only expected 200,000 people to turn up. So you can imagine how he felt when half a million people flooded the site. That's 25 years ago. This is more recent, this is nowadays. Hasn't changed much, has he? Once a hippie, always a hippie. But this is the best bit. You can paint all kinds of symbols with a mouth. And uh, all the symbols are icons of the 60s. And you can also get music tracks and videos of the era from the festival to play along to make an altogether crazy psychedelic happening. Hey, far out. Orlando in Florida is the most popular tourist destination in America, and with good reason. Apart from the occasional thunderstorm, the weather is always good. But I won't be needing these today, because I've come to visit the biggest computer graphics show in the world, SIGGRAPH 94. It's the perfect place for the virtual tours. You can cruise the information superhighways, hang out in hyperspace, and sightsee in silicone. And what sights they were. Although SIGGRAPH is really a serious scientific show, the big thing in 94 was entertainment. Almost every stand has some form of game or ride. This is my favorite. It's called Virtual Adventures, the Loch Ness Expedition. The idea is that during the submarine race to save the Loch Ness Monster's eggs, and unlike many virtual worlds, you experience this one as a team. Elsewhere at the show, other virtual tourists were getting their sea legs in a demo version of a virtual voyage on the good ship Cuddy Saw. Land lovers like me were better off trying out drier sports like Formula One racing or Formula One racing or downhill skiing. This is Egghead Shred. You control this lovable little character with this bodysuit. Now if you want to go right, you have to twist your body right. If you want to go left, you got to twist left. And then crouch down to get more speed. Now I'm about to go for the jump. Like all popular tourist attractions, SIGGRAPH can be a zoo. So after a hard morning sightseeing, what could be nicer than a relaxing swim with dolphins? This is a truly passive experience. You do nothing. You just lie there peacefully on a gently moving bed as 3D dolphins dart around you. You feel their ultrasonic scans gently massaging your body as you encounter up to six. Sorry, drifted away there. This is The Edge, a side hall full of the weird and the wonderful. The idea is to create an interaction between a human being and a non-humanoid being. Actually, there was one really interesting bit of hardware in The Edge. It's a chair that supports your body in exactly the position it will be in if you were floating in outer space. The chair is moved by these ramps that are much quieter and lighter than the hydraulics used in current simulators. NASA have already bought some to use in training astronauts. You know, it's funny how you meet the same people year after year on vacation. You might remember my friend the vector from last year's SIGGRAPH. Hello, Dave. Hey, how you doing? To operate him back then, I had to wear a bulky and uncomfortable helmet. The 94 version senses the actor's movement with the sticky, tiny dots. Could you uh, tell me how this works? Well, Z, you see the dots on my face. Those are reflective dots that uh, track the movements in my face, and those movements are picked up by the camera here in this helmet. So when I speak, the mouth moves. I can smile. I can frown. And uh, also, I can move my eyebrows and wiggle my ears. And I can change the position of the head by using the mouth in any direction I want. Whoa! Anything else you'd like to know? 
Yeah, where are the restrooms? At SIGGRAPH, you can't escape from technology, even in the restroom. This is part of an art and design exhibit, and it's supposed to make you think. There's a similar setup in the ladies' toilet, and you can interact with anyone who happens to be there. And graffiti, too. Well, made me think. <laughs>